in this video we'll see how to draw sfd and bmd that is shear force diagram and bending moment diagram in case of a simply supported beam carrying point load as shown in the figure now we have to start with the calculations of reaction in this particular case so we'll apply the conditions of equilibrium so summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero upward forces they are considered as positive whereas downward forces they are considered as negative so ra and rb they are positive because they are acting in the upward direction 2 kN it is acting in the downward direction so it is negative 4 kN it is also acting in the downward direction so both these forces they are negative so it is ra plus rb minus 6 is equal to 0 or you can say that ra plus rb is equal to 6 so let us call this as our first equation now we'll apply the another condition of equilibrium that is summation of moment is equal to zero clockwise moment they are considered as positive whereas anti-clockwise moments they are considered as negative and suppose we take moment about point a so this rb will produce anti-clockwise moment so you can see it will produce anti-clockwise moment about a and perpendicular distance between b and a is 1 plus 1 2 2.5 so it is negative moment so it is minus rb into 2.5 this 4 will produce clockwise moment so 4 into perpendicular distance between d and a is 1.5 and this 2 will produce clockwise moment so it is 2 into 1 so transfer this negative rb term on the other side so it will become positive so 4 into 1.5 plus 2 into 1 is equal to 0 and transfer this negative term on this side so 4 into 1.5 that is 6 plus 2 that is 8 so 8 is equal to rb into 2.5 transfer this 2.5 on the other side and you'll get the value of rb over here so value of reaction at support b that we are getting is rb is equal to the calculation if you do the calculation then the value that will obtain is 3.2 kilo newton now you can substitute this value in equation one and you will get the value of ra also so from equation one ra plus rb is equal to six kilo newton so we can say that therefore ra will be equal to six minus rb so just now we have calculated the value of rb so substitute that value over here so we'll get value of ra as 2.8 kilo newton so these are the values of beam reactions or support reactions at A and B for this simply supported B. Now we have to make the calculations for shear force. So we have to start with point A and we'll go towards point B. So the conventions that we will use for shear force diagram calculation, calculation is upward force will consider it as positive, whereas downward force will consider it as negative. So start from this point A. So at point A, what will be the shear force? It will be nothing but RA, the reaction which is acting in the upward direction. And the upward forces, they are considered as positive. So RA is positive and value of RA is 2.8 kN. Just at the left of the C, there is no other force that is acting. So it will be same as 2.8 kN. Exactly at point C, there is a downward acting force of 2 kN. So it is negative. So 2.8 minus 2 so that will be 0.8 kilo newton just at the left of the d there is no other force that is acting so we can say that it will be same as 0.8 kilo newton so whatever the shear force is there at point c the same will remain just at the left of d but exactly at d there is a downward acting force of 4 kilo newton so we can say that it will be 0.8 minus 4 because this is acting in the downward direction and downward forces we are considering them as negative so it is minus 3.2 kilo newton from d just to the left of the b no other force is acting so whatever the shear force that is there exactly at point d the same will be there at the left of the b that is minus 3.2 kilo newton but exactly at point b there is an upward acting reaction rb which is nothing but 3.2 kilo newton and as it is acting in the upward direction it is positive so minus 3.2 plus 3.2 so that value comes out to be 0 kilo newton 
so these are the values of shear force diagram now using these values we have to find out the we have to draw the shear force diagram so let us draw the shear force diagram first so as you can see this is the shear force diagram the various values just now we have calculated they are mentioned on the diagram so at a it is 2.8 at c left it is 2.8 exactly at c it is 0.8 d left it is 0.8 kN. exactly at d it is minus 3.2 kN. remains same up to left of b and exactly at b it is 0 kN. so this is the shear force diagram that we have obtained so bending moment diagram calculations clockwise we have considered it as positive whereas anti-clockwise moments we have considered them as negative so bending moment at the support is always zero so bending moment at a and at b it is zero now bending moment at point c consider all the forces on the left hand side of c so on the left hand side of c there is only one force that is ra and ra will produce clockwise moment about c so ra into one force into perpendicular distance as it is a clockwise moment it will be considered as positive so 2.8 kN that value is positive similarly we have to find out bending moment at point d so again consider all the forces on the left hand side of d so it is ra will produce clockwise moment of d about d so ra into perpendicular distance is 1.5 and this 2 kN it will produce anti clockwise moment and perpendicular distance is 0.5. So minus 2 into 0.5. So that will give the value of bending moment at point D. And that value comes out to be. So let us make this calculation. So it is 3.2 kN meter because force is in kilonewton and distance is in meter and bending moment at the support it is always zero right so using these values we have to draw the bending moment diagram so bending moment at the support is zero at c it is 2.8 kilonewton meter at d it is 3.2 kilonewton meter becomes zero at point b so in this way we can draw sfd and bmd or shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam carrying point loads. Thank you very much for watching.